Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Yesterday I did another stream and we uh, did a whole bunch of stuff around the map, which has now unlocked us the ability to go and see one of our teachers and get a brand new uh, spell to learn, which is fantastic. So hopefully we're going to get grab that very quickly and then we're going to get back onto the main quest line with a bit of luck. So let's hop out of here and let's go and find that teacher, which I believe is just over there. How handy. We're leveling up. We're getting a lot stronger. We took on quite a lot of fights in the stream. I went and did one of the challenge arenas and uh, I got to the final wave, but didn't survive that one. And we've changed our room of requirements significantly, which I'll show you uh, very soon. I skipped the lesson. I'm not interested in watching you all uh, do your Class dismissed. Thing. Thank you. I take it you're ready to learn your new... I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. it sounds very useful. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. So you're not going to stand back then. You're just going to assume I'm going to get it right. That's fair enough. Remember, okay. the exploding charm is highly volatile. We did it. Nailed it, miss. Well done. Now... Let us put it into practice, shall we? Okay. Go ahead and try it on the pump. So we now have all of the damage spells unlocked. In fact, we've nearly got all of the spells unlocked. We're still yet to get whatever this one is, which is, oh, transformation. That sounds like it could be a really useful one. And we've still got a couple of the curses as well. Ava, Avada Kedavra and uh, Imperio as well. So... Yeah, we are nearly there on unlocking all of the good things. Now, is this going to be a good replacement for uh, my usual fire spell? Possibly, but we'll see. All right, where are we going? What, did she want me to use it on? There's normally a crash test dummy around here somewhere. Revelio. Uh, oh, can we use it on this lock? I doubt it. Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. Hmm. We nailed it. Professor, might I have a moment? Yes. What is it? Uh, Apologies, no. Professor. Perhaps later. <sighs> Very well. Okay, so we've done that. Is this something I can unlock? No, it's a level two unlock. We still need to go and get a load of those statues. I think that's going to be another stream thing because they're all over the map and very hard to find. So we've leveled up, which means we have a new talent point, And I think I'm going to be putting this into core. Uh, that would be useful. That would be useful. And that would also be very useful. But I think I'm going to go for that one there. There we go. We've nearly got all of the core talents unlocked, which is fantastic. Right then, moving on from this area, we are going to go back into our quest log. And we there's a couple of things we could do. We could go and speak to Sebastian again and probably go more down the dark arts thing. Or we could, uh, yeah. Oh, we go see Poppy Sweeting for this one. Hmm, who's that? I think we've met them before. But they're right over here. Okay. Opportunity for us to uh, fly over a little bit of lovely looking terrain. We also went and picked up some ancient magic hotspots in the last stream, did a whole bunch more Merlin trials, and uh, uncovered a couple more flu networks as well. So yeah, it was quite a productive one. We got quite a bit done, although we still only covered the very, very top part of the map. It's like a place right out of a storybook. It is. It's literally out of a storybook, mate. The whole series on it, about seven books in total. If you don't count the uh, the other ones few films as well. There we go. Here's Poppy Sweeting. How you Is doing, Poppy? Right? Natty told me what the two of you did. 
High Wing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want High Wing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you the problem, ever puppy. Man, this trip never happened. I'm glad I said the subtitles then, because I'm pretty sure she said, if you ever eat my gran, but apparently not. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? Okay. Anyway. Follow puppy. No problem, Buzz. We can do this. Where are you taking me, Buzz? Gotta climb up here, Buzz. So I'm assuming Poppy's a fifth year. She usually is in our year, but she's she's very short. She's not a problem. Dentor, yes. hello, mate. Oops, sorry, nearly got you. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. Don't worry, dude. We go to kill all the poachers, mate. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice it could the be my hat. talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. Deep sus. Just saying. Hey, get off that cow. Oh, we can't attack it. I've seen a dug bog behave that violently. It mm. seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed I'm that sick too. of all these poachers. It's almost like there's something in the water. Algae? Frogs? Tadpoles? Little plants? Newts? This is odd. Or did I just skip a stone? It? Not entirely sure, but look around. Huh. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Revelio. Revelio. Why would they take their cages with them when they left? Pelt. Poor, still smoking. They can't have been gone long. They left in a hurry by sounds of things. Oh, hang on, more, more things, more loot. I don't want to steal their drink, I want to go in the chest. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. They're in league with the poachers, with the goblins. Oh my god. Anything interesting? Yes. I had a nice brew and got all of their loot. I mean, I didn't get any loot. Uh, are you going to let me speak to her then, game? Are you going to give me the old uh, the old icon so I can speak to her? That would be handy if you did. No? Okay. That's fine. We'll do it. Little save. I potentially have to read load in. Maybe if I go away a little bit and come back. 
I mean, it clearly wants me to talk to Poppy. No, I'm going to have to reload then. Fine. What an odd thing. This has happened a couple of times. Is that the one I just did? Which one did I just do? That one. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's not going to be far behind where we were. Have oh, I got to investigate again? Okay, no worries. No worries, bro. What's pretty easy. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they pelt? Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell. Anything interesting? There we go. Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. Merlin's big, you're right. I want to have a good feeling about this. But return to the quest area. They want the chest that's on the... But the, the thi oh. Look, well, down pop. there. Definitely poachers. Oh. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we That's use okay. Or perhaps we could... a less discreet approach. Less discreet approach. So she's basically said, do you want to go in cell? Or do you want to uh, go and kick some butt? Come on, puppy. Go kick some butt. Here's my new bombardier in Spiders. Well, I tell you this, Hogwarts is lucky they've got protection charms. Get this one over here, because this these ones are pretty Seems nasty. We have an intruder in our midst. Nope, oh, we've been spotted, guys. Yep, Lombard is pretty good against uh, these guys. Of <laughs> falling off the cliff <laughs> and losing my voice at the same time. Why won't it let me take potion? Well, you can bring I, I'm trying to take a potion, it's not letting me. Oh, that was weird. Hmm. I guess we'll try that again. Didn't go very well at all. See if we can be a little bit more sneaky about this this time. I heard something. Hey, come out before I I'll check your pocket. You're a chicken. No one hide from me. I'll spot you back for more. Himself. What is going on here? Only one way to find out. Are they guarding him or is he in on it? That's the question. Huh. 
Revelio. There's a little bit more loot. My controller feels like it's not quite doing what I'm asking it to do this morning, which is a bit odd. Repairer. I wonder if that's why I struggle taking the potions. It feels like some of the buttons I'm pressing are not going through. It's mildly concerning in a game that requires a, well, relatively accurate button pressing, I guess. Could be the game playing up. I guess. What in Merlin's name? Are those dragons? Dragon Fight Club. Look at if I can fit one of those in my bag. It's a dragon fighting ring. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. I take them all on, Buzz. Not a problem, Buzz. That's it. I don't know what Victor was sinking straight in a bug from his totalis. Mate, hey, you fell asleep. Looks to be you. Revelio. Oh, hang on a minute. It's loose in that direction, but I don't think we can go that way. It does say entry only with admission only, but I guess we're not allowed to go through the front door. Have you heard from your family? Has even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Will they join us? Ah, they say we go too far. The violence isn't going to get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, then violence is going to get me precisely what I want. Sickens me to work alongside any of them. Don't know how Ramrock's stomach's being near Rookwood. Foul beast. Not much longer now. Soon on next year. Mr. Dallas. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. In the chest, bro. Loosened cobalt runic scarf that's worse than the one I've got. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it, mate. Appreciate it. Adrian. Got him. I don't know, man. I'm just a wizard going around doing wizard things, you know? Sneaking around invisible. Revelio. Sneaky, sneaky swag. Mind if I do? Oh, look. There's a hippogriff. No, we gotta free them all. We must free them all. Or, you know, alternatively, what we could do, just watch the fight. Enjoy the fight, I guess. Right, my money is on the green one. Although it looks a bit smaller than the blue one. They're not actually doing all that much fighting. They're making a lot, a lot of noise, but not really doing a great deal of hacking. I'd probably want my money back if I was at this fight club. Oh, we're running past. Great, oh yeah, green one went in for the fire. Wow. Okay, right, that's enough dragon fighting. I'm gonna go rescue some creatures. Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. I didn't know where Poppy is. What? What's going on down there? Oh, oh, that's not very good. They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. If we let her free, shall we? 
then uh, she can go and destroy all the bad guys. Look, they've got a dragon egg. Hebridean from the looks of it. We can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. Oh, why don't make me sneak really slowly, game, just because Poppy's going slow. Thank you. Hello, Hamora. Hi, dragon egg. Sell it. Black market for many, 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 many things. Were well, they trying to hatch it? All right, I have the egg. Ready. The element I've got the key. The few I've got the egg. Let's make them count. The key to another way. Oh, they got loads of money. Oh, we're getting rich here, Poppy. One for you. And for you. And a couple of chaps over here. For you. You didn't notice. Oh, and I get two in one. Nice. Don't worry, dragon face. Oh, there's still there's still a chap. Not anymore. They exploded. Oh, there's a person over there. Are you going to explode? Oh dear, you exploded. What a shame. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Oh. You're the one we're looking for, and you to a friend. I like, yeah. What's this? Okay, looks like we're in for a bit of a fight. Now. Oh wow, our ancient magic, that was the first time it's not been blue, that was red. I wonder if the type of magic we use throughout the uh, game affects the type of ancient magic that we end up with. Did we do it all? Pretty sure we got them. Feels like there's someone still around. Someone's aiming at me. Oh, they're up there. Have a pillow, mate. There we go. We don't have time. We need to free her now before more show up. No problem. Here you go, bud. This may have been a bad idea. I suppose we'll find out. Oh, Dragon Ball Three, as it knows we've helped it. Good work, Dragon. We were smart enough to use uh, protection. Gonna give us a ride, dragon? There you go, buddy. You're free. You're welcome. This way. We didn't bring down the entire arena. Oh, that sucks. 
I mean, it's only a little tent from the outside. What if we burnt down that tent? Would it, like, burn everyone down that's on the inside? Is that how the magic would work? That was a Hebridean black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. Have we got to give it back? I they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Oh, man. I shall see you back at the castle. Okay, see you later, puppy. Where did we... Oh, no, that was a way down. Oh, we were back here at the... Yeah, I wanted to go to that little island and get that chest. There we go. Fine, that's my chest. And now what we're going to do is we're going to hop back over. Oh, hang on a minute. Professor Weasley's assignment. Collect the field guide page in the underground harbour. Collect the field guide page from the book on intermediate transfiguration in the library. Well, we could probably do that uh, relatively soon. But before we do that, I want to hop back to Hogwarts. I want to go to the room of requirement. I want to show you guys what we've been doing here. And we've also got a little lesson to learn from Deke. Deke wants to uh, talk to us. So I've moved my potion making equipment out of this room because we now have an incredibly large room of many, many potion making equipments. So there are my potion brewing stands. We've got um, these things that just give us stuff on occasion for no particular reason. We've got our composter, which gives us fertilizer. We've got that that gives us more moonstone. We've got a whole bunch of growing things over here. Although uh, I did run out of moonstone in order to make more. And uh, yeah, and I run out of ingredients to make potions, which not ideal. But we've... Oh, maybe I didn't run out of ingredients? I'm sure I did. It wouldn't let me make any more. Well, there we go. We can get, get like just a ridiculous bunch of potions brewing on here which is absolutely fantastic. And that means, like, there's so many of these. So each one of these is three. You can have seven potion brewing stations at once. So that's 21 potions we can brew all at once. And considering they only take 15 seconds to brew, we can restock our entire potion supply almost every single time we come back here, which is fantastic, because you can only carry 25 potions on you at once, or 25 healing potions, should I say. And that's all we're bothered about. You can make, obviously, other types of potions to make you stronger and make you more resistant, but I've, I'm yet to come up with a, a real need for those. Um, I guess maybe later on when battles get more tricky, or maybe even for the like the battle arenas, that could be handy. But uh, to be honest with you, I've been getting on with just having a whole bunch of healing potions, and that seems to be working pretty well. So, yeah. It's a, it's a nice thing to have. There we go. We now have 21 potions brewing. And these ones, by the time we've finished one, these ones are already ready to go, which means we can get some more on the go and we can completely stock up. Which is fantastic. Although I guess doing it this way doesn't mean we're going to be burning through our ingredients a whole bunch, well, a whole lot faster, but I don't think that really matters. The hawk lump juice is a little bit of a problem. Uh, we don't have a great deal of that. There we go. Can't pick up any more than that now. So let's put that one back on. And there we go. A whole bunch of potions going. A whole bunch of plants growing. Uh, and I would like to get a couple more potting tables in here so we can get more of these plants because these are the ones that make a potions. Although I would, I'd love to be able to grow the hawk lump juice things and I don't know if that's possible. So let's just uh, hop into our build menu very quickly before we go speak to Deke. I need, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I want that one. See if we can get ourselves another herbology table. So we we can build the small ones. 
and we can build the large ones but we don't have any medium ones yet so i'm going to see if i can put another small one down i say small one it's got five five growing things on it which is incredible so uh, yeah let's pop that down there let's make sure it's the right color okay. and now we can grow even more stuff on there however before i grow more stuff what did i just say i wanted I thought there was something else I wanted. Apparently we can put more composters down as well. I'm not overly fussed about the composters. Uh, no. Let's just plant some more dittany. We'll get a whole bunch of dittany going up. I, I've never seen the, um, the hawk lump juice plant's ability to grow those on here. So I'm, perhaps they're what you do on a medium potting table. I don't know. But there we go. We've got a whole bunch of those growing now. So we'll never run out of those. We'll never run out of those. And we'll never run out of potions. And these just give us random things every now and then as well. Oh, it looks like we've nearly got some more fertilizer on the go. Which is fantastic. But we don't need it. Let's go speak to Deke. Speak to Deke. Hey, Deke. We're going to learn about breeding, you, I believe. When you have a moment. Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me. Indeed, uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen uh, so that you can breed beasts. That would be useful. That sounds like a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Uh, young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. What do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deke suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Just Normal so happens I got a bunch of Thestrals in my bag. Death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from tomes and scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. Well, I've definitely got the Thestrals. Um, unless I've only got male ones, maybe. Oh, yeah, apparently I've only got male ones, so we need to go get a female Thestral, and we need to go to uh, the the shop. We need to go shopping, guys. I don't know how much money I've got. Hopefully enough to buy the, uh, the breeding pen thing. I might have already got it, possibly. No, apparently not, otherwise that wouldn't be highlighted. So let's go very quickly see if we can afford a breeding pen Hogsmeade, and see if we can find a quick Thestral before we finish this episode. Ooh, I get so much lag when I move, do fast travelling. No, nope, wrong door. This one. Good morning. I was wondering when I'd see you again. Today it would seem. A breeding pen. A thousand. Okay, what can I sell you? You can have one of those, 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 and one of those, there we go, we've got over a thousand now, so that's good, you can have one of those, might as well sell him everything we don't need, those, those, and that, there you go, you got all of my spare gear, and now we can afford a breeding pen, amazing, like finding I would like right a medium here. plot plot as well, and I can't afford that though. Table with three medium plots. Spellcraft is 3,000. Man, you're a ripoff merchant. Let me know if okay, let's go find those Thestrals. And the way you find where the things are is you go to your map. Now, he said it was... I think he said it was just south of uh, Hogwarts, but I can't really remember. But yeah, if you zoom in on the map, you can see these here. And it tells you what they are. So that's for Puffer Skins. No, 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 no. Puffer Skins... We did get a unicorn on the stream, which was amazing. Giant purple toads, moon carbs, hippogriffs. Nice to capture a couple more hippogriffs. I don't know if that, if that means we could fly them. Unicorns, that's where we got the unicorn from, moon carbs. Giant purple toads. Knob, knob something or others. 
giant purple toes. Now, you would think there'd be a waypoint on it. Oh, it, it's showing us over here. So is that where the Thestrals are? It is. Okay, so uh, we might as well just fast travel in over to this location and go and grab ourselves a female Thestral. No problem, guys. I got this. How hard could it be? We do it for you, Deke. Get you some Thestrals to breed up. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. There we go, guys. Let's broom it up. Oh, here they are. We're already here. Right, we don't want to scare them off. What we do want to do is go back into our spells menu and we need to put a uh, halt or whatever that one is back on there. No, not there as well, you moron. That's our brush slot. There we go. And then we just need to find a female one. That's it. There we go. Right away. So we'll do halt. Arrest momentum. And then get in the bag. Now, these are pretty quick, and they start running pretty quickly, but you can pause and then start again. As long as the time doesn't run out. There we go. We have a female. Now, are there any other females around here that we could potentially steal, or have they all run off? A couple of leeches. Oh, there's one up there. What are you? You're a male. Right, okay. Let's get back to, uh, to Deke. Let's go and do some breeding. Problem is, I've run out of space. And I'll tell you what I mean in a minute. I've rescued the Thestrals. I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent. Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use That's the gonna pen be a problem. to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure that pen. Oh. Oh, that's, that's all right. We're going to get a new room. Excellent. I was going to say, the problem is, you can only have four different types of beast in... us in different, like, species of beast in each of the rooms that you... Uh, well, the, the worlds you've got, and I've, I've filled them both up, which is why I've got a pocket full of Thestrals. Deke never grows tired of the room surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let yeah, me know boy. you bred them. Oh, we got an out. Oh, got a nighttime one. Okay, this is cool. And these were these Rebellion. rooms actually also have little areas you can go to. You can get chests. You can get ingredients. You can get all sorts of stuff. So they're actually very, very useful. However, before we find out how, how useful they are, we need to equip uh, Conjurer back on here. We need to get ourselves a breeding pen. There it is. It's a big boy. Let's, uh, let's put it out of the way over here a little bit. There we go. Now, use the breeding pen to breed the Thestrals. So, I guess I just come out of there, go into my RB menu, and release our Thestrals. Oh, we got, there we go. There's the female one. Can we put our frogs in here as well? Might as well. Nice. Uh, and now what? Use the Thestral pen to breed the Thestrals. Can I interact with it? I can. You can breed offspring of any species where you have male and female active in the Bavarian. Choose a breeding, breeding pair. Oh, there we go. That's all we need to do. Breed. Trap those guys in there with that frog. That's fine. Lovely. Right. These guys are probably going to want some food as well while they're in here. So we'll uh, give them a quick feeding trough. Uh, let's put this actually over nearer the door. Uh, where is the door? It's over here. Oh. Come on. Go down. There we go. And of course, we can give them a toy box so we can give them things to play with. Wouldn't that be nice? There you go, guys. And I think, uh, I'm sure you'd all love 
the play with a, uh, a nice... There was a thing in here that Thestrals like, and I can't remember which one it is. Theory Crawl, Puffer Skin, Niffler, Mooncalf, Phoenix, Neasles, Hippogriffs, Unicorn, and then uh, these, these are just all types, so I guess we'll give them a ball of bones. They'll enjoy that. And I'm very, very quickly going to just run around the area and see what I can grab from here before we go, because we're very low on Moonstone. And there are a couple of chests in the other one as well. Oh, we got the, the mushroom things as well in here. You can't use your broom in here, though, which is a little bit frustrating. Oh, we got swamp. The room of requirement has given us a swamp. Revelio. Can we get up this big tree? How do we get up there? Ugh. Look, he's playing with the ball. Is there a bit we can climb? Ah, climb up, I think, this bit here. There we go. Nice. Grab that. And if we can get over here to that one, there's a chest over there. Big jump, I think. Oh, or not. No, that's not the way over there. Where did we get up that one? That's there. So how do we get to that one? Oh, there. There we go. Got yourself a low wall. Revelio. Doesn't appear to be anything on that one. So there we go. We've got all of the things that we wanted. We've got some breeding going on. I have no idea how long it takes to breed the Thestrals. Not a clue. Go find out. Oh, it's done already. Oh, wait for... Yeah, well, you've got to wait for them to give birth. So half an hour, I guess. Right, in that case, I think, unless there's anything in this direction... There is. There's more stuff over here. Jeez. Yeah, it's probably just about time to uh, to end this video. <sighs> he says, wanting to desperately get over there and grab those things. Another chest. What could it be? A low raised floor. That's just what I wanted. So yeah, we can fully like decorate these little areas, which would be really good. It'd be really cool to do that. But I, I just can't see myself taking the time to gather the moonstone to do it. I think I would, like, have the essentials in here and that would probably be about it. What I will do, though, very quickly is just give these guys a little bit of a brush and then, because they've already been fed, because they've got a feeding trough, I can just take the hair and I can be just like a poacher. Here we go, guys. Right. Time to do the off. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.